foot beat. I was kind of skeptical of him because it seems sort of weird. And then funny story, the person like right next to me was like. Morning Traniacs, today we're talking about foot beat. So Traniacs, these are the foot beats, feet boots, fit bots, foot boots, fit boots. What are you doing? Feet bits. I grabbed these in Kona and I was taking a look at the company before I even showed up to Kona. I wanted to know what the new tech was that was there. So we spent a little bit of time with the company and in the end, they asked me to take a look at these and give them a try, which was actually really good timing because genius me showed up to Kona just smashed to all hell from the training that I had done leading into Kona, getting ready for Half Ironman Austin 70.3. And then what did I bring to Kona? I brought racing flats for my running and a pair of Toms. And I was standing on my feet for about 12 hours a day carrying camera gear and a backpack. So I ended up with a little bit of heel pain as you might know. So yeah, bottom line, I like them. I was kind of skeptical of them because it seems sort of weird that a plunger that presses into the arch of your foot could be enough to help with a lot of heel pain. Now they assured us that they had many athletes that have gone through say plantar fascia, low arch problems, bad circulation, diabetes, and that there were a lot of studies that actually say that this little plunger that, push, that pushes up into your venous plexus increases blood flow. Now, I've got four peer-reviewed studies and the studies show that there's an increase in blood flow of anywhere from about four to 11 times greater than even wearing compression socks. Now, in addition to that, while I was in Kona, they put me on an ultrasound machine and they were taking an ultrasound of the back of my knee where there's a vein that comes all the way up through your leg and is very major vein or artery, can't remember which one it is. And they showed a massive push of blood flow, like a really rapid increase of blood flow the second that that plunger came up into the bottom of my arch. So all right, they've proven that it can increase blood flow, but I guess what I wanted to know is, is it actually going to help my foot pain? And what I've found is that I use these for probably about 30 minutes, two or three times a day. I'll use it either before a workout, I'll use it if I was feeling a heck of a lot of pain in my heel, I'd use it after a workout, I would use it while I was on a plane, use it after getting off a plane, while I was on layovers. And what I found consistently is that after using it, my feet would feel better. My legs wouldn't feel nearly as gummed up. They would feel kind of like you know how after you do like a five to 10 minute warm up running and you're like, all right, there's blood flowing, legs feel alive. That's kind of how it feels with the foot beats on. And that was especially helpful to me when I was traveling a ton over the last few months. I found that my feet didn't get nearly as puffy as they normally do after or during a plane ride. So how it works is really simple. You put these excellent looking boots on, you tighten it up, fairly tight so that the top of your foot can't really move up and that keeps tension on the bottom so that when the plunger comes up into your arch, it's actually having an effect and it's not actually just lifting up your foot. You can connect to the shoes via Bluetooth through an app that you can download or there's a little remote. Oh jeez, <laughs> I'm not expecting that. Uh, fair warning, don't put that remote in an inaccessible carry-on bag because you might bump it and all of a sudden these things are going in uh, an airplane and you can't access it to turn them off. And then you put them on for anywhere from 30 to 40 minutes. If you only do it for 10, that's enough. Apparently with about 15 minutes in these here foot boots, foot beats, that's enough to get the, the same training effect into your legs as going for that 10 minute run. Now the things that I like about it, A, my feet feel a lot better. B, they charge up really quickly. 
There's a downside to that, however. And see, they're actually decent to walk around in. I had no problem walking around in them, even though there is this really big, beefed up mechanical sole. I didn't find them tough to walk around an entire airport in going from one plane to another. They're fairly nimble and kind of comfortable. They breathe fairly well. So I wore these for quite a few plane rides recently. Now, the things that I don't like about them is number one, the battery life kind of sucks. You only get maybe two or three half hour uses out of them. Second thing, the Bluetooth, pretty finicky. What can happen that is a little bit annoying is if one of these dies, both of them get disconnected and then you have to wait for the one that's still going just to die on its own before you can turn it off. Not the most convenient if you are in a public place because... <coughs> yeah, they're loud. You can hear these all the way across the other end of the house, through walls, through doors, on an airplane when you still got that I would put these on and even through noise canceling headphones, I could still hear them. And then funny story, the person like right next to me was like, looking at me as if I heard something and I just made like I didn't hear a thing. She was opening the window, looking out, seeing if the wings were okay. I laughed on the inside, it was good. So yeah, they're really loud. They kind of got nicknamed my noisy shoes. And then the price of them, it's a little bit on the higher end. It's $450. Uh, there is a 10 day try them out policy where you can send them back. Uh, and I don't get paid anything for this. I just wanted to work out something for you Trainiacs to make it a little more feasible to get them for you with a coupon code, all caps, Terran 50, you can get 50 bucks off of them. So thanks Footbeat for offering that to the Trainiacs. But yeah, overall, like plantar fasciitis and foot issues, because our feet are made up of so many intricate muscles and so many tendons, and there isn't a ton of blood flow in there, blood is just pooling in the bottom of our limbs as we sit, as we walk, as we stay stationary having that push of that plunger, shoving blood flow up into your legs, kicking the blood flow up all throughout your body, made my feet feel better. And because plantar fasciitis is such a bitch to overcome, anything that I find that within a few weeks can actually significantly benefit it, I think that even if it's just the placebo effect, heck, I'll take the placebo effect. Screw it, whatever effect you wanna call it, I'll take it. But these seem to be catching on with quite a large number of people. Diabetics are apparently using it. It was originally designed for medical purposes. Um, pilots are using it. The science was originally developed and researched to combat, what is it, thrombosis? Throm thrombosis. Yeah. Thrombosis, that's the thing? Mm -hmm. Thrombosis, basically just the formation of a blood clot and that increase in blood flow helped reduce chances of that. And us being trainiacs, we need to increase our blood flow so that we can A, recover faster, B, reduce injury, C, warm up faster, D, look super cool, E, sound super cool. So there you go. Everyone's been wondering about the foot beats. Now you know about the foot beats. Thanks, foot beat. Later, trainiacs.